Hello, YouTube fans. This is Excalibur. Um, this is the update over the welding and stuff that I proceeded to do. Um, I've got this welded, both of them, towards the very bottom. You can see the weld. And I've got them up, welded up through here, which is that was a pain, like totally. And then I got those all up there welded as best as I possibly could. All the way through. So this gray water tank is definitely up. Now, for the update, over on this entire side, from the base, going all the way back to here, I'm putting in uh, doors, on the sides i've already i've got four areas that i can do the doors of course we got the one here we got this one this one and this one and then on the back side i've cleaned out the black part of the bus going across of course you know how the strips are of course, over here is my little strip that was up there. Took it clean off. <clears throat> we went around, because angle iron is so expensive. So we decided to go around and get these bed frames. I got, what, a queen some and two twins or something or other. And those are going to be welding up on the side. Uh... I thought I would do a little bit of a video for once of why I'm doing it. It's my, well, everyone knows why, because of, hey, it's storage space. I can put tools or seasonal stuff in there. Just, you know, whatever. Um, but I've got a lot of, which is I gotta go to the truck because of course you forget the grinder, but I went over to Menards and got a grinder. Let's see how good it is. And hopefully I can get this grinded out. And of course it just been, it's not even in there. This is not lovely. Ah, here it is. We went over to the Menards, got the most cheapest grinder possible it was only $19 for it so you know uh, the purpose of the angle grind grinder is because when you have your buses they turn they tend to turn around and put this they call it insulation but it's not insulation it's a type of spray that they use for cab beds and stuff um when i come back on here i'll show you what i'm talking about i tried to use it on power wash because otherwise it's filthy and this was all powered washed i've got to grind all of that um well not all of it for like or an instance i have to grind this right here just to take off that stuff and a bar is going to come all the way to here. And then another bar is going to go up and down. So when it connects, of course, it's grind, it's welded here. It's welded over here. And it comes all the way back with a small, for, you know, with the drawer frame. Then from there, the same thing, you know, it goes all the way across and up. Well, on each corner end, there's another bar. Then you have your entire flat piece. And of course you just have to build each side in the top. But of course I will show you exactly how I'm gonna do it. Um, it should be pretty interesting. <clears throat> but if you guys have any ideas, you know, different than what I'm gonna do, go ahead and leave a comment. Otherwise you can watch me do the welding then after I do the welding, I'm going to 
right above the slit of the bar that goes across to that side, to this side. I'm gonna cut just right above it and cut it along here going all the way up and all the way down and then back down. And then this right here, I'm reusing the same piece. I am going to put these little do uh, door hinges. Like, uh, I thought about getting some bolts and like house hinges and have them, you know, right up. Boy, you really can't even see the boss. Ah! All right, we'll come over here to the shade. But they will be, you'll have two door hinges you know from top to bottom and then over here where the door closes it will you'll be able to put a a lock on there so other people can't get in there but it should be very interesting but that's what I'm getting ready to, to do is some grinding and tomorrow I will show you what the grinding looks like it's not only have to grind on the bus I have to do some grinding on those. I could show you what it looks like, all that's grinded, and then I am going to do some welding, and I will show you what it looks like with just the chastity welded. I will see you then. Thank you very much. Don't be sure to subscribe. Leave a notification number, you know. You never know if I come across an idea that you don't have. This way here, when I put a video up, you'll be notified. Might be able to learn something. Who knows?